to overcome this issue, we give the relay some biasing. Biasing is an additional check that we do before operating the relay and make sure that the relay is genuinely seeing a fault rather than just a mismatch between the current transform and outputs. We achieve this by inhibiting the relay from tripping using a bias characteristic, which takes into account the amount of current flowing through the relay. Here's a typical bias curve. On the left hand side of the graph we have the differential current which is the difference in the current flowing through the primary and secondary CTs. On the bottom of the graph we have the through or restrain current. This is calculated by adding the currents together and averaging them by dividing it by 2. Below the curve we have the don't trip zone and above the curve we have the trip zone. Let's now see how this works in practice. Here we have our transformer from before. We've now added a new winding called the bias winding. This winding measures the value of the through current. Let's now add the bias characteristic so we can see what's going on. Let's now energize the transformer. As the primary and secondary currents go up and down, we move around the bottom of the don't trip zone. Let's now add a fault on the transformer inside the protection zone. As the secondary current now flows in the opposite direction to the primary current, the difference between the primary and secondary currents is now substantial. We quickly move into the trip zone, the relay operates and indicates a transformer differential fault. Let's now remove the fault and reset the relay. Let's now apply a fault external to the protection zone. This time we move to the right hand side of the characteristic as the value of the primary and secondary currents increases substantially. There is a slight difference between these two currents caused by the mismatch of the CTs and some current flows through the operate winding. But because the bias curve is set at a steep angle above a certain level, this does not trip the relay. Therefore, by biasing the relay, we have made the differential relay less susceptible to through faults outside the protection zone. Transformers feed power into the network from the generating stations, and therefore also feed the network with the high currents that occur when a fault happens on the network. If transformer differential biasing wasn't used, all of the currents that pass through the transformer on the way to the fault on the network would destabilize the transformer differential protection and trick it into believing that the fault was actually on the transformer. The slope and pickup values of the biasing curve can be set very precisely, making it very easy to identify whether the fault is on the transformer or not without adding too much additional time delay.